Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So the RPG Stimulator Anniversary Update is live and we have a lot to talk about. There is a lot of changes to the game and a couple of new items you can get. So if the first one isn't new, it's just now droppable and this is the Garbage Aura. But as you can see, it gives no stats. That's because a lot of auras were reworked and I'll go over those next. Anyways, there's a Garbage Aura, there is the Fireworks Aura that gives 10 attack, 10 crit, 10 speed, 10 defense, and 10 HP, and it's the current best stat aura in the game, do go for this. And then there's also the Celebration Balloon Vanity Aura. The best way to farm these items is to farm the Frost Course over here because you can kill about 6 at a time, and the way you'd get them dropped is by farming mobs close to your level. It doesn't have to be the Frozen Forest, it can be any mob close to your level, and they have a low chance, that's why they're mob based. Anyways, let's go over the Vanity Aura concept. So a lot of auras have lost their stats, as you can see Jacko Cave no longer gives any stats, Silver Crowns no longer gives any stats, and neither does Garbage, so all the old meta auras are now cosmetic. So the current best auras in the game stat wise is going to be Fireworks, as you get 10 to all. Aura of Aurora is also very powerful, 15 speed and 1000 HP, and then also the Supernova Aura from the Sun Temple is good, it gives 2 to all, this is the Blazing Sun that also gives 2 to all, those are pretty much your best best right now. And then the way it works is you basically, you can put on your normal aura that you want, as you can see I have my fireworks on, you go to the vanity tab, click that, and then in this tab that is how you equip your vanity aura, I'm using the silver crowns just because it's my favorite looking one. Anyways, that is all the like newish items, there is a lot, a lot of changes to runes in this update, so let's go over those. Lunar has been buffed through the roof. Lunar's Moon Cutters, instead of doing 500% damage, do 800% damage. It is ridiculous right now. People in the marketplace have been going crazy with Lunars, people have been trading Heartbreaks for Lunars. I will say you don't need to spend all of your limiteds to get a Lunar, guys remember it is tier 2 crafting not too hard to get, but still it is very very powerful right now and it probably won't last long, Zeph has mentioned that it will likely be nerfed soon, so do keep that in mind, that's why the video is coming out tonight so I can show just how cracked it is right now. As you can see, the the bosses in EOT are getting shredded beyond belief. Both Solar and Lunar have both been uh, buffed to hell. Mooncutter Calamity Havoc is an amazing setup again. If you're in team play, you can Havoc Cyclone Mooncutter and have a Silencer Calamity you and you do a ton of damage. I mean, honestly, get on the game right now and abuse the fact that Lunar is this broken. It is so dang good. Like, honestly, if he keeps it this way, which he very likely won't, like, don't be surprised if it's nerfed tomorrow, it will be the new meta, without any question. It is so powerful. Anyways, Lunar isn't the only thing that's been changed. Soul Rune, due to popular demand, has been nerfed. Currently, the flurry cooldown time is 2 seconds, but it will be switched to 1.5 seconds in the near future. So it is a slight nerf, so the limited item isn't more powerful than anything in-game, and honestly, it has made it no longer meta for team play. So we will have to see over the next few days what the new best EOT hardcore strategy will be. Currently, it's looking like Snow Angel might be the top again, but only time will tell. I mean, if Lunar isn't changed, then Lunar will be. So this Shadow Rune has also been buffed. And basically, the Shadow Stomp now has a 5 second cooldown, making it pretty powerful. With Havoc, Calamity, and Shadow Stomp, you can do quite a bit of damage. It's about 57 billion with maximum Havoc and Calamity activated, which isn't too bad for a 5 second cooldown item. Overall, it is pretty dang strong, and I am very, very happy that Shadow Rune has been nerfed ever, I mean, buffed ever so slightly, because it's been needing a buff for a very, very long time. Now, Flame God has also been buffed, so the shatter time on Flame God is down to 10 seconds instead of being 15 seconds, making the damage over time a lot more viable. You can use it nearly constantly now. So, do I think it's super strong? No, I still feel like it's pretty okay. I mean, it is better than it used to be. I don't think it's anywhere near game changing, and I don't think it'll be the meta, but it is still a pretty nice little buff. The Shatter Groundbreak has gone in its effects buffed by 2.5%, so it is pretty decent nowadays. 
I don't think it's very game changing or anything. I still think Snow Angel strategies will be better, but do keep that in mind. It is a little bit better than it used to be. Also, in the Insanity uh, Heaven Splitter, when you're using Heaven Splitter while using Insanity, you no longer freeze for as long as you used to. So you know when you use the animation and you stop moving for a sec, you no longer freeze for as long. So it is a nice little buff to that rune. The damage is the same, but the time is a little bit less on that freeze mechanic. So it is pretty nice overall. Also, a couple of random changes he did is the Hive Queen Sword is now doing 1.5 million damage and the Enchanted Life of Excalibur is now doing 1 million damage. A nice little quality of life change for some old items that got outdated with EOT. I do think that's pretty nice. Also, the Icicle drop rate is now up to 0.9% and he says this is the last time he's increasing the chance, so everybody go farm hardcore EOT while you can and especially do it today so you can abuse the fact that Lunar is broken right now. Anyways guys, that is everything that happened in the anniversary update. I am sure a lot will change over the next few days, especially with how broken Lunar is. And yeah, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!